Hey there, card selling champs. If you're watching this video, it's likely because you're experiencing a sales slump on eBay. <sighs> Don't worry, we've all been there. But here's the good news. There are practical steps you could take to turn the tide and get those cards moving. So let's dive in. Before we get in, if you want to unlock the secrets of selling and investing mostly low-end sports cards on eBay, this channel is your go-to source for expert tips, honest insights, and strategies to help boost your eBay sales. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you want to stay ahead in the card selling game, maximize your profits, and take your eBay business to the next level. You can also check out my hockey card channel at Puck Mike, where I open and talk about hockey cards. All right, first thing you can do evaluate your listings. Sometimes a little housekeeping is in order. Your eBay listings might need a refresh and that's perfectly normal. It's not a long process. I recently started an eBay listing price review event on my calendar where I conduct price reviews for just three listings a week and adjust price if needed. And I take new picks with my scanner since some of the older listings I did before I had my scanner. I also recently did a bulk edit of all of my listings and changed most of my listings to free shipping, except for some of my higher priced items. I still have shipping on those. And I removed the auto offer except for all of my listings and I try to engage with customers a lot more. I'll talk more about that in another video when I talk about specific tips for selling on eBay, but it's given me more sales since using this approach. So take a look at your titles and descriptions. Are they as enticing as they could be? Are your photos clear and appealing? Remember, the first impression of your listing matters a lot. If your listings aren't grabbing the potential buyer's attention or if your photos look like this, they might just scroll past. Tip number two, offer bundles and deals. Consider offering discounts on bundles of cards or running limited time promotions. This can be a great way to attract buyers and move some inventory. Think about it. If you're shopping for cards, wouldn't a special offer catch your eye? It's a great way to entice buyers who might be on the fence and they might end up buying more cards than they wanted to initially. Now this might not work and there might be some buyer fatigue with this method. What I mean by that is it seems like every other seller right now has some kind of 20% off when you buy five or more promotion going on. If everyone has this in their listings, it kind of lowers the value of the product and takes away the appeal of a discount in the first place. A lot of buyers might even come to expect expect the discount, but experiment with it and see what works for you. Number three, engage with your customers. Remember, eBay isn't just a marketplace, it's a community. Engage with your customers, respond promptly to messages, address concerns, and provide excellent customer service. Happy customers often become repeat customers. Think about your own experience as a buyer. Great customer service makes a difference. It builds trust and trust is a valuable asset in the world of card selling. I can't tell you how many times I had a seller comment that my customer service is great and that some sellers are just garbage. Whether you're selling 10 cards a day or just 10 cards in a year, you're still selling a product to customers and you have to provide great customer service in order to get them coming back. Number four, experiment with different listings. Sometimes you just got to try something new. It might work, it might not, but you have to experiment to see what works and what doesn't for you. Experiment with auctions. Buy it now. See what resonates best with your audience. If you only sell bulk, try selling a few singles. If you only sell open boxes, try selling some sealed boxes. Number five, expand your reach and use social media. Don't forget to consider other platforms. I need to be better at this myself. My Instagram does pretty well. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I have a Facebook page that posts when I post to Instagram. eBay is fantastic, but there's a whole nother world of collectors and investors and forums out there on other platforms. Even in-person card shows can be an option. Expanding your reach can give your card sales a boost. And you can even post directly to social media now from within your eBay account. I've yet to do a card show myself. I really want to do one. I think I'll probably do one next year at some point just to get the experience. But I know a lot of work would go into it and organizing my inventory. And I just don't have the time to do that right now. But I think I'll do one next year and I'm really looking forward to that. Number six, buy more inventory. When sales are slow during a time that's usually busy, it usually means that there is more supply in the market than there is demand. Basically what that means is there's a boatload of sellers, but there's not a boatload of buyers. I definitely think this is true right now because there are way too many sellers on eBay, but it's a free market and we have to find creative ways to get customers to buy our product. But what you can do is buy more inventory. If sales are down due to more supply than demand in the market, then you can usually get inventory at a lower rate, which could mean more profits later on. It can also help you get fresh and new cards to entice current or new buyers. Number seven, get some cards graded. One way to increase the value and desirability and appeal of your cards is to get some of them graded. Now, I just sent my first submission into SGC. I did a video on my hockey card channel about the submission and the 20 cards that I'm sending in. Grading not only ensures the authenticity and condition of your cards, but it adds a level of trust with potential buyers. Cards that are graded have more appeal to collectors and often command higher prices for sellers. If you have some standouts, in your inventory, consider sending them in to be graded. Number eight, and lastly, this encapsulates every piece of advice I've given you today, but when sales are low, it's a great time to strategize 
and reevaluate your card selling approach. Take a step back and consider your overall business plan. Are there specific niches or types of cards that are in higher demand? Is there a particular market trend you can tap into? Analyze your past sales data and identify what has worked well for you. And then use this information to make more informed business decisions to tweak your strategy. Now I'm doing every single one of these pieces of advice that I just told you, especially this one. I'm looking at all of my selling goals. So use this time to evaluate your goals and your benchmarks to measure your progress. Remember, strategic thinking can make a significant impact on your sales and the existence of your business in the long run. That's all I have for you today. Keep things positive and keep things in perspective. Like I said, there's a lot of new sellers in the hobby, but a lot of them won't last, especially through a market slump, which are part of any business. But with some strategic tweaks and perseverance, you'll see those eBay notifications rolling in again. Remember, the card selling game has its ups and downs. It's all part of the journey. Keep a positive attitude, learn from your experience, and maintain great customer service with your customers. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to unlock the secrets of selling, selling and investing low-end sports cards on eBay, this channel is your go-to resource for expert tips, honest insights, and strategies to help you boost your eBay sales. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you want to stay in the card selling game, maximize your profits, and take your eBay selling business to the next level. You can also check out my hockey card channel at Puck Mike, where I open and talk about hockey cards. I'll see you in the next video.